Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I'll show you how to convert the Java code to Kotlin code for your Android app using Android Studio. So let's begin. We'll create a very simple project to do so. Next, um, probably I'll name it as Java to Kotlin. And that's one of the things you can leave it as it is and click finish. So this this tutorial will be helpful for guys who are very much conversant with doing the Java programming, but later on want to change it to Kotlin for some reason, and that may be a nice use case. Or also many times people do develop in Java, and later on they have they want to integrate into an app which is developed in Kotlin, which is much more optimized. Sometimes uh, we can argue on that, but yeah, and that's when this will come useful. So I'll try to keep the uh, app very simple. I will just probably put a button to add some basic functionality and I, I will not do much on the uh, design part. I will just leave it as it is and probably I will give this text view some ID which will text view and we will use this ID in our Java code or Kotlin code. You will see to it. Perfect. So <clears throat> our layout is done and now we can move to the uh, Java code. Java code first we will define a private class vehicle uh, variable not vehicle sorry private um, uh, probably it will text view text view and also probably we will take a, a private integer of type int reference. So we will use this variable to show something or show some functionality uh, on pressing the uh, button okay so in this on create method we'll just find view by id uh, dot id dot text view so we are associating this text view with the uh, right widget in the xml file and now we will do is public sorry public void and what else we can say button click and then we can define probably it well and now we can go back to our xml file and ensure that in this button on click method this particular uh, method which we just defined is uh, set so this attribute should be set over here then only this on click will work and over here what we can do is we can or probably in this on click we can initialize this to zero and in this on click method what we can do is we can just increase this plus plus so that whenever this is click we can see there is some change in our uh, uh, there is something happening some first is happening and then we can print this or set this text integer dot to string and enter reference yeah. so this line will ensure that whatever the value of integer is it gets printed on the layout so i'll keep this uh, simple <clears throat> and I will run it in the emulator to see first in the Java code and then we will do it uh, or we will convert this Java into the Kotlin part. So we are simulating it but uh, let's see. So what I can see is it's giving an error that uh, our this app is uh, crashing. So let's see and most of the times whenever this app crashes during the initialization itself. It means there is something wrong in the on create method. So I think uh, probably either line number 19 or line number 21 has some problems. And what I feel is it's not line number 19, it's not line number 21, but it's line number 19 because we instead of giving dot, we have to give an equal to sign because we are assigning that text view a particular uh, uh, widget from the XML or layout. Okay. So now I'm very hopeful it will it will work. So I'm again um, running it and let's wait. Yeah, perfect. So if you see it, it came up our app on this emulator and if I click button it keeps increasing 2, 3, 4, I, I don't know it's a bit a small in size but uh, you can see it over here or probably I can quickly increase the size uh, over here in the design and text size and you can increase the text size to say for example 36 and again simulate. Yeah, this time it's much bigger and if you see, no, it's increasing. Okay, so this is the Java code. 
I'll uh, keep it over here only. And no, we will. What we'll do is we'll convert this into the Kotlin. And it's very simple. It's just one one click uh, option. You have to go to this code option, and the last option here, convert Java file to Kotlin file. Just click here, and then it will ask whether you want to. Uh, you will have to configure Kotlin project. Of course, we will like to configure it. Click OK, and then click OK over here. Uh, it may ask for the compiler and runtime version. Just select the default one, whatever it prompts. And then you may have to wait for some time for some downloads or Gradle to sync up. And uh, yeah, so I'll pause for that moment. Let it finish up. So I think it's done now. Our Gradle is uh, built and sync. I go back to my Java code, but I don't see any kind of conversion done yet. Still, the Java, my code is in Java, so I think I'll go back here and try to convert here it once again. And some code in the rest of your project may require correction. After, do you want to find such code and correct it too? Yes, of course. So just let uh, Android issue you to take care of things as much as possible. And if you notice or if you see, our Java file has changed into no KT file, which is Kotlin file. And the code has automatically got changed from the Java template to the Kotlin template. Now we will uh, run this in the emulator again and see if it works as it was working in a, for our uh, Java case. If you see the code for Kotlin, most of the people, I think most of the programmers prefer Kotlin. Sometimes this is for app development. It's much more short, simple, and straightforward. Uh, but yeah, it depends upon your expertise area. Both are most more or less in. So if you say if you can see now we are running the Kotlin code and it works fine. To test it whether the, it's really this code, you can just change the logic. Probably I'll change it from plus plus to minus minus. No, I'm expecting instead of increasing, it should reduce, say for example, from 0 to minus 1, minus 2, and let's see if it really happens or not. Or, or, or you can, of course, debug it also by putting the breakpoint. But uh, yeah. So if you see, no, no, it's changing uh, in negative. So that's because of this, this effect, line number 19. Yeah, so that's all. So my main purpose was to show how easy it is to convert a Java into Kotlin. You have to just uh, select a Java file and then in the code menu, the last option will be to convert Java into Kotlin, which is much more preferred uh, for Android app development. Okay, so that's all. I hope you, you like this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section. And if you like this video, then please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.